Hello, friends. This is Cold Run. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Well, not welcome back. Just welcome to Elden Ring. I'm used to saying welcome back. This is a new game. I have... Now, I know a little bit about this. I know that it's open world more than the other FromSoft games. I know that it's still pretty tough. I know that it's supposed to be more forgiving than some of the other FromSoft games. I know... Now, I tried this game like I booted it up and just kind of like made a quick character and just to I don't know just to see it like a few months back I don't remember what happened um I think I died to something but again it was a it was a while it feels like it was a while ago and it was pretty short so um yeah I'm ready to start a new game this is also just going to be the character creation because I really don't know like what the I don't, I, I'm, this is the first, usually I record on the PlayStation 4 innately. I might still do that, but for right now, I'm going to try recording on OBS on the computer, so I might be able to do longer sessions this way and add a face cam once I know how to make that work. So, character base. Create a, select a base for creating your character. Okay. So, like, little templates, gotcha. Vagabond. Or is there a show attribution? What's the down arrow? Uh, how do I go help? Does the down arrow is help? But I don't... Is that the down arrow? Oh, that's the waffle button. Gotcha. View controls. Okay. Uh, show attributes. So there's a lot of stuff. Wow. Hold on a second. So what are... The, got here, warrior, which looks like using two swords and a shield and magic. Is that faith magic or something? I don't know. Um, hero, bandit. Astrologer is a cool one. Astrologer has high intelligence and mind. I don't know what those are yet. I mean, I know they're mental stuff, but I don't know the details. Prophet, so this is probably a faithy one. Samurai. Prisoner. Confessor. Is prisoner like the, the waste of skin one? No, wretches. Prisoner is different from wretch. Interesting. Okay, I don't know which I should do, and the easiest way to settle this is just random.org. I, I like making characters from random.org. So how many... We have here one, two, three. So we start off at Vagabond and go to the Wretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Random.org says we get number four. What's number four? One, two, three, four. We're going to be a bandit. Okay, sure. I've usually, whenever I play FromSoft games, aside from Sekiro, where you don't really choose a class, but whenever I played FromSoft games, I always went with a knight. And so this will be interesting. Oh, God, no, it's a bow and arrow class. I don't like that because I don't like running out of arrows. Ah, well, I picked it. Also, fairly high arcane, which is surprising. Well, we're picking it. Oh, yeah, more random to dark. Type A or B. One to randomize one to two, we get number two. We're going to be type B. Name. Just going to go with cold run. Body is type B. Again, age is, we're going to randomize one to three. We got aged. We got an old woman bandit. Origin is Bandit. Yeah, a dangerous bandit who sit, who strikes for weak points. Excels at ranged combat with bows. That'll be interesting. I'm excited to see what this game's version of ranged combat is. Let me just take a quick scan through these. Um, Vagabond, a knight exiled from their homeland to wander. A solid armor-clad origin. Yeah, that's what I would usually pick. Warrior, a nomad warrior who fights wielding two blades at once. An origin of exceptional technique, so kind of a skill-based, dexterity-based. Hero. A stalwart hero at home with a battle axe descended from a Badlands chieftain. 
Bandit, yes, Dangerous Bandit, Astrologer, a scholar who reads the fate in the stars, heir to the school of Glintstone Sorcery. Okay. And interesting, so there's no, I don't know, I'll be curious if there's a Pyromancer type, but probably not. Pyromancer is pretty specific to Dark Souls lore. A seer ostracized for inauspicious prophecies. Ah, uh, Cassandra type. Well versed in healing incantations. We don't talk about the pro, we don't talk about Bruno. Samurai. A capable fighter from the distant land of reeds, handy with katana and longbows. So this is katana and longbows. This is longbows, I guess, or just bows. What is this? Level five. I don't know the different. I don't know why one level is better. Well, samurai just starts out at a higher level. That's weird. Um, so vigor 10, uh, 10, 11, 10, 12, 11, 13. So s the samurai has more vigor, mind, and endurance. Strength of 12, and more strength. The bandit has dexterity of 13. Wow, it's worse in everything than the than the samurai. Has 9, 8, and then it has arcane of 14, so it's way better arcane than the samurai. Okay. Prisoner. A prisoner bound in an iron mask, studied in glintstone sorcery, having lived among the elite prior to sentencing. So this is still a sorcery type. Confessor, a church spy, adept at covert operations. Equally adept with the swords they are with their incantation. So a lot of hybrid type builds here. Wretch, a poor purposeless sod, naked as the day they were born. A nice club is all they have. Yep, so we're going with bandit still. Keepsake. No keepsake. The past has been well and truly left behind. Crimson Amber Medallion. Medallion laid with inlaid with crimson amber increases maximum HP. Lands between rune. The gold of grace shining in the eyes of the people of the lands between. Or the lands between like where the gods lived. Golden seed. What way does that do? Used to gain many runes. I don't know what runes are. Um a golden seed washed ashore from the lands between, said to enhance sacred flasks. That sounds intensely good. I'm going to go with that. Like, I'm almost certainly going to go with this. If, if, if a sacred flask is like an Estus flask, like a healing flask, that sounds great. I want to do that. Fanged imp ashes. Ashes of small diminutive golems. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. Maybe that's a spell or something? Cracked pot. Three strange cracked pots that somehow mend themselves, a container for certain throne items. Stone sword key. Two stone keys shaped like swords. Breaks the seal on imp statues, but can only be used once. A witching branch. Five sacred branches charged with beguiling power. Said to originate from the demigod Mikella. Okay. Boiled prawn. Five pieces of boiled prawn. So do you want... The golden magical seed, or do you want some boiled boiled prawn? Shabriri's woe. Crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out. Attracts enemies aggression. Oh, that must be like if you want to lure one enemy in away from its friend. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with golden seed out of this thing. Again, not knowing what these means and having, like, for all I know, the runes that you get could be super rare. I don't, maybe that's really good. But we're going to go with golden seed. Um... Use base template. Ah! The most common face among the Tarnished. After all, they were warriors once. The Tarnished. Is the Tarnished going to be like the, the player player type? Truth Seeker. The face of an austere pilgrim. There are many roads to truth. So a bandit pilgrim. Because this is going to be a bandit no matter what. An aristocrat. A regal face found among those who claim noble blood in the lands between. So, I mean, everything about the lands between that we've heard all, like, two things make it sound sort of like Anne Orlando as, like, a place, like, a city where the gods lived and whose descendants are granted status. Loner, face found among a proud and seclusive tribe of well folks well-versed in ancient legends and heresies alike. Northerner, oh, I like that one. Face found among the hardy people, like, the, the, the mullet, is that a mullet? I like it. A face found among the hardy people of the unforgiving north. Some say they're descended from giants. Same height, though, right? Hard to tell if it's scaled down or something. Seafarer. 
the face of one who wanders the seas in search of their home in the lands between. In search of their home in the lands but I don't know what the lands... Maybe... Yeah, the lands between is definitely not just Valhalla. I mean, it's a... It sounds like it's a tangible place that you can get to. Reedlander. Based from the faraway, isolated land of reeds where blood is a familiar sight. Your co Look at that! That's awesome! The stony faces of a people from... Of the ancient dragons, among whom life is typically short. Oh, that's rough, buddy. Nightfolk. The features of those known as night folk. Few in number, they were said to bleed silver long ago. Or Newman. Uh, the face of the Newman, supposed denizens of... Descendants of denizens of another world. Long lived, but seldom born. Interesting. And again, I'm going to go for this one. Another cosmetic thing. Because these are all cosmetic, aren't they? I assume my stats don't change. Yeah. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Randomize 1 through 10, we get number 2. We're going to be a bandit truth seeker. Face of an austere pilgrim, there are many roads to truth. Detailed appearance. Wait, I thought we did that already. I thought we did some of that. Age is young. Oh, we know, we changed. Age was. We did. We got aged before. Yeah, so we're going to do aged voice 1 or 2, because we're going to still be aged. We got number one. How do you... Oh, how do you hear the aged voice? Sample. Yeah, both are pretty great. I feel like I'm going to hear that a lot as I die. Skin color, alter face and body hair. Uh, I'm fine with just going with the default. I don't have a preference. So let's let's just go with the... Yeah, this. Is, I think this is... I think she looks badass. Um... All right, uh, back and finish. Yes. Yes, indeed. We're going to get her voice again. Leaves. Tell a story. No, we're not. So the Elden Ring is actually a physical ring, or was a physical in ring. It's not like a circle, a social circle. Across the fog, the lands between. Our home, I don't know who's speaking, but they, their home is the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. I mean, I'm going to forget all these names. Queen Marika the and Eternal. In the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. There was some kind of rebellion or coup or something. Night of the Black Knives. Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. Marika was like a god. Is that a tentacles on that person's face? The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered Whoa. the shattering. Brain food. That's disgusting. That's awesome. A war from which no lord arose. That is a long sword. That's like Sephiroth levels. Leading to abandonment. The giants. By the greater will. The greater will. Is that like the name for the gods collectively? I don't know. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead, who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. So we're descendants, probably, of those elders. I don't know. Whoa! Chieftain of the Badlands. It's also pretty loud for me. I don't know if it's loud, loud for you, too. Gold mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. 
These are classic from soft enemy names. The loathsome dung eater. That's pretty gross. And Sir Gideon Othmere. The all knowing. Is Sir Gideon Othmere alive? It looked he looks pretty dead. would again bless a tarnished of no renown that's me presumably I think that's me right yeah that's me yeah that's me cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden so it's a thing you stand before or a thing you wear? I don't... And become the Elden Lord. So this is starting out very... This is going way different from Sekiro. This is going back to kind of the Dark Souls style of storytelling of being much more vague. Not necessarily, again, not, not in a bad way. It's just this feels like it's going to be that kind of story. The Ring... Map menu. With the map menu, you can check your current position in terrain and buildings in the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there. Okay, with fast travel from the start, I'm a fan of that. However, there are some dungeons and in other areas where this cannot be done. Makes sense. Really place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Okay, I'm going to try to remember that, because, again, if this is an open world game, then that'll probably be necessary. N Wait, did it say night? So time is going to be a thing in this game. Maybe there's some things that come out at night, mostly. Some things that are daytime, mo daytime only. Yep, so circle is roll. Okay, just pressing the button. So L2 is what? L2 is a parry. That's a quite a grand parry. That's like a flourish. L1 is block. R2 is big slash L1. Or, or yeah, R1. So R1 is a quick slash. R2 is a big old slash. Can you charge up any of these? can't charge L1. You can charge up R2. You can't char charge up R1. You can charge up R2. Triangle. Nothing. I assume that triangle is just whatever's at the top there. Okay. Just pressing circle is a back step. Can you simultaneously do those two things? No. I was trying to parry at the same time as I back step. No, it's one after the other. X... Did I just jump in a FromSoft game that's not Sekiro? This feels like immoral. I'm actually jumping. Well, that's unexpected. Okay. So X is jump. Square is presumably to use an item. Okay. Nice, I can destroy some of the environment. Anything hiding behind that chair? Give me your secrets, bookshelf. I can jump! This is wild. This is... a small thing, but again, not an expected thing. Alright. Pillage remains, read message. This is another thing. Uh, I'm currently... I don't have a PS subscription or whatever. PS Plus, I think it is. And so this is off... You can see directions. North, east, you can see... Th that's really cool. Um, was that always there and I just didn't see it until now? Uh, sorry, the... I, I'm not... I'm playing offline because I don't have a PS Plus subscription, but if that would make the game better, let me know. I'm not a PvP person, but... I don't know. Let me know if that would be preferable anyway, just to watch. 
I'm open to it. I'm not like against it. It's just not my not my cup of tea usually. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. I will try. A tarnished, wizened finger. We just ripped the finger off of this poor person. He looks pretty fresh. He looks like recently killed. Maybe she's another... I don't know, another... Elden tarnished? Tarnished, a tarnished, yeah, that's it. Are we going to get the classic FromSoft door opening? The slow, like, pushing it? A boulder up a hill? Yeah, we are. What the fresh hell? That is so cool. Look at this magic golden tree. Chapel of Anticipation. Yeah, it's a Chapel of Anticipation. That's going to be locked, isn't it? Yeah, locked shut. Wait, did it say closed or locked? Or locked shut. Can I get to it from... Can I jump over? Oh, I can. I don't want to do that. But I can. It's good to know I can. Oh, that's going to open up so many more secrets and all kinds of shenanigans. There ain't nothing there. Nothing to jump to there. That looks like straight up death. So one thing I'm going to check, and then I'm just going to wrap up. Again, this is just a quick test session. Make sure the audio video is okay and get rolling. Can I... I guess here's an immediate question if you're watching this and know the answer. Are there... No, I can't get behind there. Are... Are there invisible walls in this game? Like, should I be... Because each game is a little bit different, and they were always pretty opaque about it. Some games, you press against a wall and click X to... Or click, in this case, probably triangle to open it. Other games, you would have to roll into it, and it would immediately appear once you gave pressure to it. Other games had no invisible walls. Um, I don't know whether I should be testing out invisible walls or not. But for now, I'm going to assume that that is something I'm going to circle back around to, like a shortcut I'll get back to at some point. Uh, can I destroy boxes by jumping? I can. Hammer controls. Yes, got it. Okay, that's going to be it for me for now. Uh, hopefully this will save here. I don't know if it will. I don't know if you'll have to, I'll have to find a bonfire or something, but... Um, quit game. So it's at 11 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to save game and return to title menu. Good. Okay, so it'll save it where I am. Um, yeah, that's it for me for now. Thanks for watching. Let me know any suggestions you have if the audio is too quiet, too loud, the balance is off, or if face cam is something you'd prefer sooner rather than later, or would prefer to never have. Uh, either way, see you later. Bye-bye.